Welcome to Ask Your Doctor. I'm your host Shivani Raj. For today's show, we have Dr. Damodar, who is an MD in internal medicine. This episode is continuation of our previous episode where we discussed about different cardiac arrest. So today we thought we will discuss a little about uh, the post care required when you have a cardiac arrest or a heart attack. So without any further delay, let us welcome Damodar Garu on our show. Doctor, welcome back. How are you? Hi Andy, thank you, and I'm I'm fine, Andy. And I'm glad to be back, and hope uh, you all doing good. For today's episode, like we discussed, uh, we will talk a little about a uh, post cardiac arrest or cardiac attack. So, um, you know, in the previous episode, we did briefly talk about you know how uh, cardiac arrest happen, and you know how what is it, and different kinds, and how it affects the heart. um you know you clearly explained uh, even the different parts of heart so today can you give a simple do you want to give a simple summary or do you want to get on with the post care yeah last time i remember we were running short of time so so to give a you know summary of uh, what we discussed basically you know cardiac arrest is like you know sudden cardiac death and sudden cardiac arrest you know the focus is for us is prevention like you know so we want to save people from dying there were reversible causes and irreversible causes the reversible causes we discussed you know where we can quickly intervene and then save the you know person and then then post cath obviously we were discussing uh, sorry post cardiac arrest you know they need to be in a, you know cool temperature like you know 32 to 35 degrees and uh, so that the brain won't get uh, damaged and then they have to be in the you know intensive care with all the icu protocols okay so to further continue with the post uh, heart attack complications and we discussed about the electrical complications like you know arrhythmias causing if it, you know if you shock they leave and and also if somebody heart is weak because of the heart attack you know we discussed the ejection fraction right the pumping capacity if it drops less than you know certain percentage you know less than 35% you know they can you know usually go and have a automated uh, defibrillator installed and what happens is when they go into ventricular fibrillation it automatically shocks even they are sleeping you know that it shocked because next day you get the recording you know so that's a good way to you know prevent um, you know deaths in people you know especially you know some of the especially non ischemic you know heart attack is ischemic non ischemic uh, cardiomyopathy uh, dilated cardiomyopathy we discussed with drugs and you know, alcohol and all those reasons i think uh, it is very effective okay then there are of course beta blockers ac inhibitors amiodarone you know and uh, most important thing is compliance with medication and you know people have to follow up with the cardiologist take their pills regularly and also you know quit smoking completely and next uh, most important uh, topic is uh, you know after heart attack we discussed electrical now we'll go to the mechanical side mechanical is like you know heart anatomy you know pretty much you know four chambers right atrium left atrium ventricle right ventricle right and the, the separating thing is called a septum so there is a septum between atrium it's called uh, interatrial septum the septum separating the ventricles is interventricular septum. so a lot of times suddenly people dying is because of the mechanical complications one is uh, you know the rupture of the muscle itself you know the left ventricular see the heart has to pump continuously no rest right you know the anatomy like it keeps pumping pumping all its life so when uh, blood supply gets obstructed you know there is a chance the muscle get ruptured and then it's a sudden death happens even in like you know very uh, even if they are lucky and they are in a specialist center the chances of dying is very high okay most commonly so the next thing is the septum and when the septum uh, ruptures also you know that's another cause of sudden death and the other thing is uh, you know shock they may go into cardiogenic shock and uh, you know go into hypotension especially right ventricular um, heart attack which you know, like blood pressure drop i think so they need to have a lot of uh, fluid support 
and the another one is uh, you know blood has to go forward right so when one of the muscle gets ruptured we call papillary muscle rupture then the blood cannot go forward but it comes backward so that's called uh, regurgitation when regurgitation happens it's called uh, mitral regurgitation because you know the left ventricle has a mitral wall so when when it happens the papillary muscle ruptures the blood actually comes back regurgitation that's another so those cases actually if they intervene uh, quickly like you know they take him to or and you know to surgery the chances of saving them are, are there but as such electrical component we discussed the chances of living is very high if they can shock them but mechanical complication chances of living is 50-50 yeah so that's why you know the focus is you know for younger generation education is very important because especially high school kids and college kids if they know how to you know intervene it will save lives again like we discussed like you know there is called aeds you know one is internally you put aicd which does its job but you know some people may not be lucky to be identified you know so their aed is you know you know somebody is jogging or in the you know cricket stadium or airport those aeds you can just take it from the wall and stick it and it will tell you it's the shock your shock your the shock is the shock yale so automatically all you have to know is basic cpr the bls center basic life support airway breathing circulation so you immediately check whether the person is breathing whether there is circulation you look at the pulse and there is response or no response then you call you know 911 or 108 and then you start uh, reviving them so the most important um, you know education train the young people of course police are already trained and to educate the bystanders bystanders save a lot of time okay so i think uh, most of the channels are doing a very good job now you know by providing these educational programs there is a lot of information on google i think uh, it's better to learn a little bit of basic uh, you know techniques because you never know and like you know one day you may get to be saved by other person right so so that's why it's better to have a little basic knowledge that's yes. the main message and it because you know people are dying in sleep people are dying on the road people are dying in the stadiums you know on exercise treadmills like you know last week you said so many celebrities dying at any age so it's it's very important uh, topic actually some basic symptoms of panic attacks and anxiety attacks are pretty similar to a heart attack or to a cardiac arrest so unfortunately chaala mandi ki ala avutunna ardham avataledu like are naaku anxiety vastunda panic attack vastunda konariki you know even acidity a lot of people will mistaken it for a heart attack they'd be like a heart attack it happened to me also and there was once a panic does like oh my god i'm getting that like you know a heart attack or something because that was the time where all these celebrities started dying one by back to back wow. and people got this scarcity so can you explain a little can anxiety stress can this affect heart attacks so to answer your question anxiety and stress you know they not only affect one system but they affect the entire uh, you know psychological and physical well being of a individual and so basically when you are getting into that mode the catecholamine surge happens catecholamines ante layman ki you know i mean like in adrenaline noradrenaline ante chaala mandi kadam avutadu you know you know fight and flight under the fight and flight uh, the surge happens like you know when people get angry and you know It's the same thing people go into anxiety and especially you know stress building a uh, little bit of stress is good but when stress builds over a period of time then the hormonal imbalance happens then yes. they go into they, then they go into panic attacks and like you said when they go into panic attack it exactly appears like that like they will come to the hospital saying that oh i can't breathe i you know i have my chest is like really tight and their heart rate will be like you know you know more than 150 like that so 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 when it builds over a period of time until you you know take away that stressor you know it's hard so basically it affects your insulin level 
and you will uh, develop insulin resistance then you will develop uh, you start eating more then you start staying at home more than going outside and less you know interaction with friends then you will start gaining weight then your blood pressure will go up so it will you know affect your job also you know you may lose your job and you may lose your you know family also so you know actually to be honest you know i can give you a perfect example of myself like you know 6 yeah 2014 15 that time you know i one time I, my heart rate was going like 170 and uh, you know i was i was like shocked what's happening so i immediately um, i went and uh, got you know you know help from the doctors you know the ep cardiologist and all you know my friends they did extensive work up and surgery and everything including uh, cardiac cath was normal there was no clock at all normal they did all the tests and you know the the guy said man you know i think we ruled out pretty much all the you know major complications or major reasons for and he said it's it's anxiety looks like you are worried about something which is triggering your hormones like you know and it is true actually because my personal stress are whatever personal stress building up thank god you know it's gone now and last 3 years my heart rate is running like in 60 70 and, and i don't even have to take any you know medication so so what i mean to give the message is focus on the cause so if somebody has a stress building up you know nip it in the you know bud stage you know like you know take care of it in the beginning మొక్క వంగని మానయ్ అంటారు కదా అట్లా సో అందుకని ఎప్పుడైతే ఆ స్ట్రెస్ స్టార్ట్ అయిందో సీక్ హెల్ప్ లైక్ యూనో యూ నో గో టు ఏ డాక్టర్ అండ్ ఇట్స్ నథింగ్ రాంగ్ టు డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ యువర్ యాంగ్జైటీ ఆఫ్ కోర్స్ బీయింగ్ ఏ డాక్టర్ ఐ డెంట్ డూ దట్ బికాస్ యూ నో ఐ వాస్ థింకింగ్ ఓ ఐ నో ఎవ్రీథింగ్ బట్ ఇట్ బిల్డ్ అప్ యూ నో యాజ్ అ డాక్టర్ మై సెల్ఫ్ డింట్ గెట్ టేకింగ్ కేర్ ఆఫ్ దట్ స్ట్రెస్ అండ్ మై యు నో బట్ finally thank god you know nothing major happened and it's over so so my message is uh, nowadays anxiety stress depression it's pretty common because the fast moving society right so there's nothing wrong to go and get some help uh, with the psychiatrist you know what i mean and also yoga and you know like we were discussing the other day you remember yoga is another uh, i think a great uh, blessing for our indian or world work you know because you know whenever i do yoga my work goes pretty smooth that day and you can focus also more you know attention wise like i always say our culture you know and science they are linked to so sure. yoga yoga yogis were doing that time right the science behind is what happens is when you stress your you know stretch your muscles the endorphins gets released and is one your own so that makes you your body relaxed and you be happy and, and you know when you are happy you can boom boom you can work quickly when you are sad like your mind is picking something and you know i mean like the work gets you know it's not enjoyable right like you know he is uh, you have to be happy to be successful or you know perform better yeah. so that comes with uh, you know you know help serotonin like you know the most important thing is serotonin i mean dopamine and serotonin so uh we always work out at night so we are dedicated like we will go only at night that is our time we go from 7 pm to 8 pm that is our time but there was this one time because of some personal issues we decided out of the whole year that we go we decided we'll go in the morning so we went there we did our early stretches and it we did we were like no this is not happening our body is not used to it but we kind of did our stretches and we came out and uh, what he did was he has a protein shake and he had his protein shake early in the morning we didn't work out properly of course but he still had his morning set of proteins then what we did was we both headed to a coffee place and we both had a coffee so mind like if we think about it we didn't really have our breakfast we did we had nothing but we went and had our coffee that day was one of the scariest days of my life because we had a coffee he took a couple of sips and then he started 
not breathing properly and we were like something is wrong with him what has happened he's a very fit healthy man 25 year old then i got very nervous and i was like no it's time i would panic if he will something is going to happen and then we took him to the hospital because he was saying i'm having a panic attack i think i'm having a panic attack but he doesn't really have any mental issues and i was like oh i think it's some of this mental issues coming out right now we took him immediately to the hospital and they said nothing is wrong nothing is wrong he is completely fit and then we were thinking what is the issue what is the issue then the doctor said that if you are having caffeine which your body is not addicted to caffeine or high set of proteins these can happen so are there any physical things that we change that can affect our hearts because that is what he said he said your heart is the first thing that will react if you don't if there is a base protein i'm sorry this was a pretty long story but is there no, any will no, no. kind of like it's react true. to your body especially your heart a lot of uh, young people you know you know they go into this mode because i think like i earlier said uh, you know too much caffeine can cause also tachycardia so you know the ideal you know dose is around like you know 3 to 4 cups a day which is helpful but you know caffeine can cause a surge in the, you know you know hormone levels and you know tachycardia True. so he already took protein supplements and uh, you know so yeah it it can happen and uh, especially if somebody is already vulnerable vulnerable in the sense who already is going through stress in his life Uh, you know your body is already going through a process and your hormone levels are already messed up and it just needs a trigger the trigger was coffee and protein supplements in your friend you know and for somebody else it could be something like argument with your dad understand or your mom or your mom or your spouse you know or kids it can trigger you know i mean like you're already vulnerable when you're vulnerable then any you know other external uh, perpetrator can you know aggravate the situation so on the key is that so focus on the uh, cause what is causing you or pulling you down is it a physical cause or it is psychological cause or it is some external stressor you know in my situation like i explained you know whatever personal stress uh, is gone and i am perfectly fine so everybody has to i mean like it's hard to identify even being a doctor i could not identify i was worried about my heart first and then once everything is ruled out then i thought oh it's something bothering me so like so so it's better to seek earlier uh, you know advice na anna kada no nibit in the bud like you know when it is మొక్క ఉన్నప్పుడు దాన్ని ఇవ్వాల్సి వస్తాయి అంతే సో అందుకని ఎప్పుడైతే లైఫ్ లో ఇట్లా అవుతుందో అప్పుడే డోంట్ బికాస్ యూర్ అడ్వాన్స్డ్ ఎస్పెషల్లీ ఇన్ టర్మ్స్ ఆఫ్ చిన్నప్పుడు సైకాట్రీ గారు పోతున్నాం అంటే అబో సైకాట్రీ పోతుండు ఎందుకే పిచ్చున్నట్టున్నా ఫస్ట్ జనరల్ Yes. unfortunately yes. they don't get it these hereditary things some of the addictions it's a disease doing it by themselves but it's in their uh, you know genetic uh, or it's a disease some people wants to just drink uh, uncontrollably because it's in their system you know they are prone vulnerable people you know how important is it that your mind and your heart is at peace and please tell this to the viewers because i'm sure whoever the viewers are watching they're having their chill weekend and i'm sure if they're watching this uh, what is the suggestion mm-hmm. that you want to finally give to the viewers the mind controls most of the functions of the body right you know even the breathing is controlled by you know brain you know even that's why you know suddenly why heart is going boom 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 when you didn't like somebody's comment on you that's why psychological health is very important as important as physical health no matter you may be running jogging and being fit and doing everything but but something you know eating in your brain you know it can affect so the early morning me question ki i don't think uh, there is a increased uh, you know i mean like um, incidence of heart attacks in the early mornings 
but uh, i don't know rounding early morning will help or not i don't think so because people a lot of times die in the sleep because um, heart attack happens early morning and uh, yeah that is known fact and uh, the man working at 94 you are amazed i think he is living because he loves it's a passion and you have to develop a passion i actually uh, you know laugh and uh, you know make everybody you know you know laugh also if i can and um, the day goes faster like it doesn't yes. feel like work because uh, if you are a i mean like if you have a personality and if you do what you like you know helping people so so you know it gives you a kick kick <laughs> so everybody has to everybody 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 has to find that kick now what yeah. makes you happy so but for the longer uh, you know living people they will have a passion like some people may like golf you know a lot of people uh, they live on or they keep playing golf so i mean like social interaction is very important and it prevents this uh, Yes. anxiety stresses of course you can't choose your uh, like i always say family but let's say unfortunately you don't have a good family structure but you have uh, friends right so you can make good friends it's important because we are not we are social animals you know sure so, you know to live alone you know it's so very difficult for us because so and uh, the people who live longer have a good uh, healthy you know you know friendships and uh, some passion like tennis or badminton or you know something something to get out of the home because nowadays the problem with this younger generation is they are getting addicted to these gadgets watching and playing indoor you know that's why you know, i'm like i'm like you have to expose to the nature and my thing is i think uh, see god uh, gave all these seasons like you know i tell my friends sometimes you know winter comes you know spring comes and winter all the leaves fall and like it's like dry now you look outside it's all just dry and spring you see everything is like rosy and nice and happy so i think in human life also i think you have to go with the flow I mean, like you know, you got to do that. You know, the winter is cold, and you are indoor, and maybe God, you know, wants to recycle those leaves because you know, when spring is nice, sunny, everybody wants to stay outside, and it's so pretty, pretty outside, right? So there is a reason if you analyze, there is a reason for everything. You know, I think human beings also, you know, uh, life is. I don't know. We don't want to go to that uh, spiritual mode, but it's finite, right? Like. it's finite you know i mean like we are here and we are not going to be here again right we are here and we are not going to be here so whenever you are here make the best you can you know yeah i mean like some things you cannot change you know some like i said the genes you cannot change you know, i have uh, seen a young um, a little girl this week and um, who came to my you know greenville house i said you know so with uh, you know neighbor and she has a type 1 diabetes uh, and she is taking insulin she is only like 5 years so and uh, her grandpa said he is a good doctor he said oh, okay. so i asked her uh, you know so how you feel i'm mean, like her attitude was so good she was smiling i'm happy so she adjusted like mean, like you know like anything can happen to anybody but to prevent the stress you got to find something uh, diverting factor like you know you got to get out and let's say you like movies go to a movie because a lot of people succumb to the stress and die and the suicide is the worst thing because i've seen my friends and relatives you know they could have take the stress and they you know kind of die in my opinion i think if you don't take care of it initially it can reach there you know because it's all in the mind right uh the viewers should tune in to your show because you do give a lot of it, i mean i don't know like for me it honestly felt like a therapy today <laughs> like a mini therapy <laughs> session of mine i think we we went a little other direction yeah right? but, then but it's, it's a useful direction nice. it's a useful it's a yeah but it is like we talk about 
exactly we you did have a lot of valid points but i think with that note we will end this episode and as usual damodar garu it's always very lovely for me to talk to you uh, we'll definitely meet next week and thank you for the viewers for tuning in you're watching sakshi thank tv you. with me shivani raj